I don't know if this is going to be considered stupid or this is like the, you know, absolutely just you never let your team down. You never give up. You fight with every tooth and nail to try to win and you do everything. You give everything for your team. It's one of the two because at this point, I don't know if I agree with this decision. So Joe Burrow is playing tonight. Yeah. Barring any setbacks, he is going to be playing tonight against the Rams. Now, we don't know if he's going to be playing the whole game. Maybe he goes out there, plays a couple drives, see how he's feeling. If something happens, like for example, if he's just feeling a little cramping or his calf is just hurting too much. He might be pulled from the game and they might put in the backup. But he at least is going to be starting this game tonight. And again, like I said, I don't know. I guess this would be in the gray area. Because in my opinion, this seems stupid. It really does. But at the same time, you're 0-2. You can't start the season off 0-3. You gotta win tonight. Tonight's a must-win game. It's your Ring of Honor game. It's at home. You know, you gotta give us something to show that, you know, things are going in the correct direction, right? And after the Ravens lost yesterday, obviously the Steelers and the Browns won, but after the Ravens lost, now this division is getting a tad bit more easier, right? Not completely, don't get me wrong, but it's a little bit more, you know, sandwiched together. If the Ravens would have won yesterday, they would have been 3-0, and they would have really taken off. But now it's a little bit easier in this division. So, it's... It's a risky play here, right? Because he plays, he goes out there, we win, right? We're all happy, we're all excited. But if he gets hurt this game, and I'm going to knock on every piece of wood I have to make sure I completely do not jinx that into existence. But if he does, and he goes out for the season, or he goes out for many more games, and he's not able to heal, this is going to be a problem down the stretch and in going into the playoffs. You know, Jamar Chase has said now many times, preseason and now now, where he's told, you know, Joe not to play. He's been very vocal with Joe on not to play. And whether that was, again, before the season and even now when they asked him last week, like, are you surprised Joe's playing? And he said, yeah, because I told him not to. And now he's still going out there and playing. And it is one thing also when it comes to Joe is, it's hard to tell him he can't play, right? Because obviously he's your franchise quarterback. He just got paid all that money. He wants to go out there and win football games, right? He does. Joe's a competitor. Joe's not a guy who doesn't care. He's a guy who cares probably more than most players in the NFL do. And that is a, you know, a positive and also a negative in this context because he wants to go out there and win games. He doesn't want to sit back and watch Jake Browning play tonight. He doesn't want to sit back and possibly watch A.J. McCarron play tonight. He wants to show that he can get the job done tonight. And that could cost us everything in the long run. I don't know. At the end of the day, we've heard doctors say what they say. We've heard experts say what they say. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is Joe Burrow's body. And no one knows Joe Burrow's body better than our team doctors and Joe Burrow himself. And while, yes, it would be smart in the context of letting him rest and not playing him, we're in between a rock and a hard place. So, I understand the decision to go out there and play. I understand it from Joe's perspective. I don't understand it completely from the team's perspective, but I understand it from Joe. Joe's like, listen, I'm the leader. I'm the. Uh, this is my team. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to win this game for us. I understand that part. From... Zach Taylor, the higher-ups. I don't understand it as much because I think it's more of a stupid decision from them. But again, this does come down to you're not going to be able to stop Joe from going out and playing. If he wants to play, he's going to play. It's just from a long-term perspective, this is not going to be the smartest play, in my opinion. But again, like I said, we win tonight. Perfect case scenario. Perfect you know, scenario here. We win tonight. We're one and two. 
you know, the division right now, everyone else is 2-1. and one. So a one and a half game back when certain teams in the division, Cleveland and Baltimore. We can make up for that next time we play both of those teams. Week 18 and week 11 for Cleveland and then Baltimore. So we can make up for our losses then. And we can kind of just all come back together. And, you know, we got to beat Pittsburgh at least one of the two times. And we should be fine in the AFC North, right? A win tonight changes a lot. It really does. It changes a crap ton. And it's still going to be tough, though. It's still going to be, you know, tough. Even going into the Titans game next week. And the Browns just demolished the Titans. And I think we're going to demolish the Titans, too. But, again, it's just like every chance you're taking with Joe is a chance that you're not going to have him at the end of the season. And that's what the scariest thing is. And we already know we're playing number 99 tonight. And number 99 doesn't like playing fairly. 99 will hurt Joe if he can. 99 will slam Joe to the ground. And every single Rams defender tonight, they know what they have to do to win this game. And I, I hate to say it because there is a brotherhood in football where, and this is actually a true fact I've heard many times from football players. I heard football players say this one time recently. I forget who the football player was. But they said it's like a brotherhood when it comes to football. No one wants to hurt each other, right? You have some outcast players who want to hurt each other. But for the most part, it's like a brotherhood. No one wants to see each other hurt. Donald is different, man. Donald just does not care. He will hurt someone to hurt somebody. And every Rams defender tonight knows the way to beat the Bengals would be to go after Burrow's calf. And last thing we need is a play after the whistle where the play's over. And Donald, who already hates us because of the Super Bowl, already hates us because last year in our joint process, you know, he swung helmets at us. It would not surprise me if he would hit Joe after the whistle on his calf, knowing his calf is hurt. So it's like, it's it's risky business. It really is. And I'm hoping if he does play tonight, which again, like I said, all signs are pointing toward yes. I hope everything works out. Well, I will be live tonight, live streaming this game, breaking it down play by play. And I didn't think he was going to play. I'll be honest with you. I really thought he would be rested, maybe sat down and rested for a couple weeks. But... It, there is that mentality of Joe accepting that he's being rested and Joe accepting that he's not going to be going playing for the next couple weeks. And that's easier said than done, telling him no. And I know you might say, well, as an organization, you got to step up and just, you know, be the boss and say, no, you're not playing. But again, like I said, it's like when you pay a quarterback as much money as you paid him and he's saying, I feel healthy, I feel okay, I want to play. It's really hard to not when you're already 0-2 in the season and an 0-3 start could be detrimental, right? So I get it from all perspectives, but it's a risky. It's a risky endeavor. And when you play with, with that mentality, play stupid games, win stupid prizes, right? But we got to win tonight, so Joe's going to play. Joe's going to play. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one.